So what I'm doing today is we're installing a front mount and the IBR inner, or, uh, manifold. So I've already got the front mount like mounted up. So it's got the, the driver's side hoses done. So that goes right there. Can't really do that because I gotta put the manifold right there. And then it basically goes into the throttle body because it's flipped around. And then I got this side almost all the way done. Nothing's like connected or anything, but I got it on, it's smooth. And then it got the uh, BPV done. And then if you look down there, it's connected to the charge pipe side. So I'm gonna get some lighting so it'd be better for y'all to see. But then I might do a time lapse or I might stop it during like the major stuff when I'm installing something. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I just finished the passenger side with all this. So what a lot of people don't know let me get let me get the freaking sun over here so with this ho with this pipe everybody thinks it's too small that's because you have to disconnect the where it connects up there i don't know what it's called it connects your like turbo though and then it goes to your bpv you just have to take that fully one out and then use the one provided and then use the bpv hose that you already had so a lot of people get confused with that but everything's done with the front mount or the passenger side of the front mount charge pipe tubes up there and then it goes around and everything's tightened up it's pretty good on there i had to remove a bracket from my uh, intake but i have it zip tied so we'll see how that goes and then it's on there but so that's on there we got the one the first pipe from the driver's side on there and we got to put in the crash beam and then we're going to install the manifold this is most likely going to be hell, but at least it comes with instructions, unlike the front mount. But we'll see. So I'm not really going to film it though, but I might film the major parts. I don't know. It's kind of hard, and I get frustrated a lot when I'm doing this shit. So we'll see. Yaga. We're trying to get this manifold off, and um, I think there's one more hose before we get it off. So I'm going to attempt to get this off right now. We'll be back in a moment. After, you know, a little bit of fooling around. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> There's still a hose! Oh, hold on. There's still one little hose connected. But that... This is, this is epic. Alright, we got it out. The WRX has no manifold. So we're going to work on getting this switched over and yeah we'll show y'all when it's probably on kind of spilled some gas there but you know that's okay so what we got right now so we had to stop i can't put the manifold on yet because i don't have an egr delete so i ordered one from ibr and put one day shipping on it so overnight parts from japan and so i'm basically done with the manifold right now i can't i've got it all assembled it's over there on the floor, but as of right now, I'm just doing some hose management. Done is we got the evaps cut off to the Y that IBR gave you. We have, I'm not sure what this hose is, but it goes there, I know. And then that one goes to the um, manifold once you put it on. This goes, this is from the AOS, this also goes to the manifold. I have the throttle body uh, hoses set on an L clamp. I removed the fuel line from the bracket, from this old bracket that was right here on the stock manifold. Remove that because you can just take this one from your firewall and connect it up to that. It really just simplifies the system. So once we get the EGR delete, which is, that's the EGR right, right here, right there. Once we get that, we'll just take everything out, put the EGR delete in and then Put the manifold in, plug up everything, and then finish this side of the front mount, and then we should be ready for a tune. So, so far the process has been really easy. I mean, this side was, you just, it's basically just removing a ton of stuff, but that looks so clean. It's all tightened up. Got the Boomba BPV on, but 
so far it's been an easy process so it just takes time and you just don't want to confuse any of the uh hoses put them in the wrong place but i mean the manifold ibr is super high quality we got the kit on and we got the throttle body on that's tight we got the block off piece you can have port injection with it but that's pretty good a ton better so much better than the stock manifold so much better so we you know we just got some 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 swag on the ibr manifold but it's coming along it's coming along we're gonna go up to fast tech and get tuned so this is this is gonna be wild i'm not sure how much everybody says it makes like 30 to 40 horsepower gain plus i mean i've never had a really good tune on my car so i could do big things with this yo we're going to windy Round two. Round two, baby. Gotta get some vlog. Gotta, gotta get some vlog content. Yeah, some me. content. Me and Cam did in the vlog back at it. Bunk. Oh, we're gonna go get a hose. I need a line for a coolant. I, so I need uh, five of us. Or, yes. <laughs> We need a 5 16th hose for a coolant line. All right, we just got this 5 16th rubber hose because I need to connect some uh, coolant lines to my uh, to my uh, manifold. And so we we're working on taking the EGR valve out. So we got that part. There's the solenoid or something. I don't even know. All right. We gotta, get All right, a, get, we gotta throw that towel. Get a close one of this. We gotta turn on the sun. <laughs> Turned on the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right. I can't see. Now, we're going to find the bolt that we need to do. I think I got a little bit of coolant on my hands. Oh. Touching that. Too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ain't supposed to happen. So, we got the EGR out that big bitch we got that plugged and as you can see under the car there is a ton of coolant we just spilled but it's okay because we got it out so yeah yeah so we finished it we made some brackets for the oil cooler right here and we finished it it's all good we just got to burp the coolant and then we should be ready to go it looks pretty dope like it's crazy how insane it looks Bad, but it looks so wild. Cord just got me. We're going to a car meet. Going to the car meet. Gonna be swag. Aiden's gonna be there. Aiden's coming up the chat. It drove. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Content gang. Did you get a lot of vlog content? With yes. Bullshit. Quite a. Quite. So, I wasn't here for most of this install, but all I know is that it went very rough and there's a lot of hiccups. But in the end, we got it done. Yeah. Introducing the all new intake pipe. <laughs> intake pipe. Whoa, no, no more charge pipe. No, sir. Fuck Perrin. Perrin's ass. Perrin is fucking ass. So now you got all this freed up room right here and you got the the boost tube, the boost tube, the swagger fold <laughs> with the, with the more fucking <laughs> everything. Dude, you see how I just it dribbled the fuck out of oh my, my God. bumper? Well, the car runs and drives, but it needs to get that tune and that engine slapped in. Hold on, grab the keys, but it looks good. It looks good, and for 
being not tuned, it's running great. I just had to, I just got sick and fucking tired of the bumper trying to put it on, so I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, we got it, we got it mounted up pretty damn good. Looks real good. Kind of just uh, carved the bumper a little bit to fit the oil cooler, but no biggie, no biggie. Um, looks great. Still smelling like coolant, but I think we got all the lines good, so that's sweet. Ride out. Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> We're washing cars. <laughs> Swaggy. Ethan. Jack. Where's Jack? Say something for the people, Jack. Something for the people, Jack. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>